Hi guys, long time no see. I know. Um, I recently started going to the gym after work and that plus my commute, plus my job, plus my freelance, plus like trying to not let my house fall apart has been taking up a lot of my time. But I'm really trying to get into a swing of things where I can do YouTube videos and everything else. Uh, there are only so many hours in the day though so I kind of got behind. But we're going to catch back up with uh, a video I promised you guys a while ago and that's a depotting video. So I'm gonna go through blushes, eyeshadows, lipsticks, and jumbo pencils. So let's just get right on into it. So let's start with blushes. The first thing you're gonna need is something to actually put your blushes in. I have a Z palette here and the reason I have this is because it's domed Z palette so it's actually thicker. Uh, there's more room here and I will be depotting a couple domed products into here. Because they are rounded at the top, they take up more space in a palette. Uh, so the items you're going to need in general for most of what we're doing today is either a flat iron or a lighter. I'm using a lighter because I'm lazy and my curling irons. Uh, a knife you don't plan to eat with anymore. This is the one that I use. Um, and, you know, probably some other various products here and there. First thing I'm going to depot is super easy, and that's anything that is um, just like a trial size. So this is a trial size of Coralina. I love using this on clients, so I'm going to pop this in my palette with some of my other stuff. So um, what the important thing you want to look for is the metal pan. So as you can see in there, there's a metal plan, pan surrounded by plastic. So um, when it comes to depotting things, make sure the first couple things you depot are not your favorite items because while you're learning how to do this, and even once you've learned how to do this, you may break your items. So keep that in mind. If this is your favorite item, maybe don't depot it. Or if it's really expensive, because there is a chance you will break it. Um, so with this, because it's plastic, you can just push the pan out. Now it's glued down so you don't uh, so you don't want to push in any one direction too hard because you'll bend the metal. I don't even know why I'm holding this knife. <laughs> so it's all products are basically have a pan glued into something. So since this is plastic you can just pull it out just like that and now you can toss the plastic. The palette's magnetized to metal since this is metal now I can just pop it in there and I have Coralina in my uh, palette now. Next thing I'm going to depot is something with bulky packaging. For me, that is my Physician's Formula blushes. Look at how like thick this packaging is and only this much is the blush. So the first thing I normally do is break off the part with the blush because you don't need this. The annoying thing with this product is there is a mirror on the bottom, so that makes things a lot harder. So you might take your knife carefully, take your knife around the edge and try to pop that mirror out. So again, be very careful not to twist your product. Mirror is gone. So now we just have plastic surrounding our pan. And so now here is where you could use either your flat iron or a lighter. With the flat iron, what you want to do is you want to take some wax paper, put that on top of your flat iron, set it at whatever high, medium, high temperature. I've never really done it that way. I just know it's a common way to do this. Set it on top and let it start to loosen the glue because basically what you're doing is you're using the heat to loosen the glue that's holding the pan in place. I am lazy. I use lighters. If you're young, ask your parents permission before you use fire. If you're old, still be careful. Don't burn down your house. So take your, oh, turn your flame down. Take your lighter. This is like the biggest flame I've ever seen in my life. Have you ever seen a flame that big? I don't know if this is even going to work and start melting the bottom. I may have to go get a different lighter. This is like really <laughs> intense. I Where did I even get this lighter? That's ridiculous. 
You want to start melting it so that it starts to loosen the glue and you can slowly start pressing the bottom with your knife and as the glue loosens you'll be able to pop the pan out. I'm going to go find a different lighter because this is just ridiculous. Alright, I am back with a non flamethrower lighter because I burned like two of my fingers doing wedding hair this morning. I ain't trying to burn anymore. So, take a normal lighter and just start melting the bottom plastic. You're going to start loosening that glue. And periodically, take your knife and start pushing up where, oop, start pushing up because you've loosened the glue you'll be able to take it right out because you melted the glue, detached it from the plastic now the plastic goes away and you have a free blush pan. Try not to drop it after you did all that hard work. You can use acetone or nail polish remover to clean off the glue if you so wish you can kind of scrape it off with your knife Scrape it off with your knife. Now you've got a clean pan. Pop in your palette. Last blush I want to talk about is um, domed blushes because they're baked on terracotta pans. When you're pushing, you want to make sure you're pushing in the center because anytime you're pushing at the edges, you're likely to bend or break your product. So what we've got here, we've got this baked blush, and this is on a terracotta pan. Anything that's baked is normally going to be on a terracotta pan. This is not going to magnetize to your palette. A lot of Z palettes come with little magnets. You can buy them separately at hobby stores, um, you can buy them online, you can buy them wherever. So I'm just going to take one of these magnets. They have a sticky side. I'm just going to peel it and take that sticky side and set it right on top of the I am just trying to drop and break my products today aren't I take it on top of that glue that way it's just stuck on there and now you can take your pan and it will magnetize into the palette as well all right now I want to show you one that's not in a compact uh, well it's in a compact but it's not one of those like flip compacts so uh, I already bust off the top. This is like an Ioni one. So what you'll see is there is a line between the plastic and the pan and then this outer shell. So just like everything else, you're getting in that line and you're trying to separate the two plastics. Please be super careful while you're doing this, guys. I've already cut the crap out of my thumb. Just, you could burn yourself, you could cut yourself. Just be careful, okay? A lot of times if you get in at the hinge, you can get some pretty good leverage to kind of shoot your blush across the room where it will shatter and break. So this is my point, guys. Luckily, this is a dollar blush or a few dollars. It's from the dollar store. So I'm not crying over it. I'm not depotting anything that is going to cost me a lot of money if it breaks or that I'm going to be totally heartbroken if it breaks. Although I'm kind of heartbroken about that mess in my makeup kit because it literally flew over my shoulder into my makeup kit and shattered. So that's a mess for another day because it's like 11 o'clock at night and ain't nobody got time Now you've got the pan part out and do the same thing. Heat the bottom, push up, push the pan out. Alright, that's it for blushes today. These are what I have depotted. All right, after that little disaster, let's move on to eyeshadow. We're gonna do this really quick because it's basically like blush on a smaller scale. I've already depotted tons of eyeshadows in my time. As you will see, some of these are a little busted because if you twist the pans, you're gonna break the powder, so be careful. All right, so here is a single eyeshadow that I am going to depot into one of my palettes. If you are feeling daring and you have depotted lots of stuff, you can, and you see a gap in between the shadow and your box, you can try and get in there. But as you see, as soon as I get in there, I twist the shadow up. So even if you're good at depotting, it's a shortcut, but it's 
probably 50% more likely to break your shadow than if you just melt it. So back to this I go. This is one whole piece, so I don't need to break anything off. So I'm just going to start melting this. You melt it for a while, you push. If it doesn't move, just keep melting it. And so now, just like everything else, whatever this is, uh, isn't magnetizing into my palette, so I'm just going to take a little metal sticker, put that on there, pop that in there. So it's as easy as that. The next thing I'm going to talk about is something that I don't actually have any to depot, but I'm just going to tell you about it and then maybe show you a picture and then you can do it at home. So jumbo eye pencils. I depotted a bunch of mine a long time ago into these clear containers. You can get these all over the place. I got mine online. And so I depotted all my NYX jumbo pencils back then. I actually find I like using them out of the tube more, but that's my preference. Up to you. So what you do is there's a cap on the end. You break that off however you can. You may need pliers. It may come off easy depending on how cheap or expensive it is. And once it's off, you'll be able to stick a unsharpened pencil. So a flat topped pencil, stick it through that hole and push it it'll push all of this um, product out. Works for the um, Scandal Eyes, it works for mil uh, Milk, it works for NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, um, it'll work for these Milani Shadow Eyes. Um, so I mean really just anything with the basically the diameter of a pencil. You could also melt it out but that's like a huge pain in the butt. So I'm gonna try and find that picture off of my Instagram where I showed you kind of sticking the pencil through and insert that here for you guys. Next and last is lipstick. I am going to be depotting into my MAC um, palette with these little, with this insert, um, these well inserts. There are tons of options. You can depot into these containers. You can depot into containers that like twist on top of each other. Like if you just go to like a hobby store or Michaels, there's so many different types of containers if you don't want to get like a MAC one. My biggest worry is that these pans are not deep at all, so I'm not sure it's going to hold a full lipstick. We'll see. So what I'm going to do because I don't know how much this well holds is I'm only going to do half the lipstick and see. So you're going to need a spoon and probably some scissors. I'm just going to use these scissors for my eyelash drawer and I'm going to cut off half of the lipstick onto the spoon and then like a heroin addict. You're going to heat the spoon up to melt your lipstick. And then once it's all melted, you're just going to dip your spoon and pour it out. So now you're going to have some residue on your spoon. Take a makeup wipe or a paper towel to clean it off. Be careful when you're wiping off the lipstick because your spoon will be hot. So here is my lipstick pan. I'm trying to show you guys without tipping it over because it's still cooling. But here is my lipstick depotted. If you don't want to go through all that mess, you can just take your lipstick and press it into the whatever you're depotting it into. I mean, it's just up to your preference. This is going to look more smooth, whatever. But I mean, you're going to mess it up getting in there to get your lipstick. So it's all up to your preference. I have many more to do. So I will show you my palettes and then we'll probably, I 
I hate this chair. I'm sorry. I'm using my husband's drum, uh, drum chair since my chair met its untimely death. Um, and it's really annoying. I'm sorry. Maybe someday I will find a new chair, but until then I apologize. All right, guys, my camera's dying. I am a total mess, but I have depotted a fair amount of lipsticks. Ooh, that's the most recent one, so it's still wet. Um, so that's what I've done. A couple tips on depotting lipstick. Some lipsticks are flammable, so don't directly heat them. Um, also, some colors may separate, so you may need to stir the lipstick once it is um, melted. All right, guys, my battery is officially dead. Uh, I've made a mess that I need to clean up. So just remember, please be careful. Practice on something you're not going to be heartbroken if it's broken or ruined and have fun organizing your collection. So um, I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.